It doesn't look like much, but when no one can hear you, this piece of metal at the bottom of the sea, it means the world. Hello, Paul? Hello? Hello? Paul Robeson once travelled the globe, an international superstar performing to sell out audiences across America and the world. Film, theatre, song or speech, Robeson made people want to listen. Now they can't. The US State Department have revoked his passport because his powerful voice is radically off message. He talks of lynchings, corporate greed, of segregation. And in the 1950s, at the height of McCarthyism, his left-wing views are enough to have him branded communist, un-American, a threat to the nation. And they don't just bar him from leaving the country, they bar him from performing in public, anywhere. But they haven't counted on Robeson's unlikely ally, a new technology that can set him free. The submarine repeater is an amplifier for telephone cables. It can boost a fading signal a million fold, meaning phone signals, and so phone lines, can go further, can go anywhere. It's a solid worker, tough enough to withstand freezing cold and crushing pressure, tough enough to work on the ocean bed. Now a string of these high-tech British and American repeaters spans the Atlantic. For the first time in history, a phone line connects the two countries. And Robeson's British supporters have a brainwave. Maybe now he can reach them without leaving America. In 1957, a crowd of supporters packs into St Pancras Town Hall in London to hear their hero sing. Tonight, the medium is truly the message. Solidarity. Everyone waits on tenterhooks. And then... Hello? Hello? Hello, Paul, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, wonderful. Well, come over, all right? Oh, I can't tell you. That's Look. wonderful. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. By joining forces, repeaters have given one voice the power to cross an ocean. The quality is so high that some of the audience think they're hearing a record. And the message is clear enough to be heard well beyond the town hall. The following year, the US Supreme Court declares it unconstitutional for Robeson's passport to be barred. He's free. All with a little help from his friends and the information age giving us all a voice. But old man river, it just keeps rolling along. And old man river, he'll just keep rolling.